Another suspect in Andrea Baharat's case dies at hospital. People, welcome back to Yard and Abroad TV. Please remember to hit the subscribe button, turn on post notification, like, comment, share, and subscribe. As I said, if you're not familiar with this channel, we talk about issues in Jamaica, the Caribbean, and the whole world, people. So people, the picture you're seeing on your screen right now is that of Joel Balkan. He died in the hospital while he was in the ICU. It goes on to say another suspect in Andrea Baharat's case dies in a hospital. Joel Balkan, 36, of Arrow Porche Road, Sangre Grande, one of the suspects detained in connection with the kidnap and death of Andrea died this afternoon at the Eric Williams Medical Science Complex, Mount Hope. Balkan was arrested at his home on Sunday 31st of January 2021 by members of the Special Operation Response Team. According to reports, in an attempt to escape from being arrested, Balkan reportedly suffered injuries and had to be taken to the hospital, where he remained until his death today. Reports reveal that around 2.20 p.m. today, nurses at the hospital found Balkan to be unresponsive. They tried to resuscitate him. However, he was pronounced dead at 2.30 p.m. Balkan was one of several persons who were detained by the police after Baharat was reported missing on January 29, 2021. And people, I talked about this in some of my other videos that I already have posted about this gentleman. I even gentleman, this piece of dog shit. That's what I'm going to call him, people. This piece of animal that's what we can't call he's not a gentleman why why would i even mention him as a gentleman he's an animal you see me people and he said between 2007 and 2017 balkan was arrested and charged with 70 offenses including multiple counts of rape kidnapping false imprisonment larceny and a robbery with aggravation at the time of his death 45 of these cases were pet yo people this upset me i gonna lie how can a person how can a person with so much offenses so much charges still be on the street if it's pending cases make him lock up make him stay in a jail until the charges and the case is ready to tr get to trial we still have him out there i'm in a business where nobody will ask about oh liar get paid and this and that and all the excuses and we know say money talk and bullshit walk but january it come to a point where was this man so powerful that every time he do these acts he just walk out of prison him just not get arrested him just step on the road same way Hey people, this cannot be real. This cannot be real. A man like that should not have been on the streets at all, people. He shouldn't up on the road or walk around. And look at that. He end up kill somebody else. Like you have to draw the line at some point, people. One offense, two offense, three offense, four offense, five offense. You see, man, people don't even know me. Like, it don't make sense. Me don't even, me don't even pronounce the word them right now, people. Because me can't believe that somebody who committed that 70 offense people no sir mm -mm. this is not real at all people and if you are watching the video let me know if that makes sense let me know let me know if a person with that much offense deserve to be on the street or a walk on the street pending trial it's like him get bored and say all right boom what them not do not them not do me nothing i'm doing these evil acts and them just a lock me up and you know me release back again and boom me go continue doing me i do like you know make no sense absolutely no sense people so everyone knew that baharat a clerk at the arima magistrates court was last seen entering a taxi in arima on the afternoon of january 29 2021 and was not seen since her decomposed body was found down a precipice at the heights of aripo on february 4th so i i just keep repeating these stuff of when she went missing and when she was found because a lot of people um 
some people just are find out about this case people i have a lot of people message me and dm me um you know telling me that they appreciate the what i've been doing and you know trying to give as much information as possible and i uh, remember again people i'm not from trinidad i'm from jamaica i was born and raised in jamaica living overseas now and as me said this story really shaped me up really touched me people like i have a daughter i have a young daughter people and i can't imagine me send my daughter go to road or my daughter gonna work and something like evil like this happen to her me can't even begin to phantom what the parents and family members of andrea is going through people me legit can't even think about it me i try to put myself in them position and me can't think about it like what they did to her was evil people and it's not just andrea alone in you know, the people this one made international headlines but there is numerous other victims that the same thing have been done to but their body wasn't found or the media attention didn't highlight it or enough attention wasn't put on it people but this one definitely drew international worldwide attention people because young girl have her future in front of her bright future that she did everything that them tell you to do she follow all the procedures all everything and yet she was still killed and her body dumped like a animal people by these evil wicked human beings and me glad people two of them now have passed away two of them dead you see me i never wish death on nobody but these two persons that was involved in this killing them deserve it them truly deserve it people them truly deserve it for what they put andrea through you see me but i don't know people like a lot of people i see have been leaving um comments and they're thinking something bigger is actually going on them things say something are going on tonight something just fishy about it there are people leaving comments like this one person said there are more questions than answers and something doesn't feel right about this whole situation a lot is being covered up if they are to bring in foreign investigators many people of high places will be arrested somebody else said something big going on in this country that's way above average citizens head i pray to god one day it will reveal itself she found a deed that was already used and bring it to her supervisor attention if police do a thorough investigation is judge lawyer magistrates and police going down in fact i think we need foreign investigators for this particular case rest in peace little one i hope and pray your death doesn't go in vain and everybody in the comment section seem to saying they need to bring in foreign investigators on this one cause something no seems right people people leave in the comment section let me know what y'all thinking about this let me know what are your thoughts what is going on in trinidad people more and no leave some comments and let me know what is going on because everybody's commenting that something is up something is up like everybody's saying that people like me not say one person i say like oh boom that's how it go like everybody just knows say, something fishy is going on there's a cover-up somewhere somewhere and once again people just big up in yourself thank you guys for liking commenting and subscribing to my channel and as usual once i get these updates i will let you guys know i can't give you updates throughout the day because you know i'm gonna have to work and things so once i get home in the afternoons you definitely know i will keep you guys updated on everything that is going on all right much love and appreciation people from yard and abroad tv big up in yourself